Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the Osiris UK user group. And today I want to talk to you about how you can import PDF files into your Osiris database to enhance the quality of your teaching and museum cases. So first of all, I'm going to have a little look at my main database. This is uh, a list of all the cases in my central database. They have been anonymized and they're coded with a case number, also by modality and body part, and then all the keywords relating to the findings or the diagnosis are listed in this column here. Um, I use a separate column to record the patient's age and sex, and I use a final column to um, code the module of the RCR syllabus that the case falls under. So if we go back to the desktop, you'll see that on here I've put a nice article that I found relatively recently uh, talking about the pronator quadratus sign of um, wrist trauma. And um, I remembered that I have a case in my collection uh, with exactly this sign and thought this would be nice to add to that case. So if I go back into Osirix and we'll just try and find that case now. So in the search column I'm going to look here and there is the case. It's um, a 24 year old male. We've got an initial radiograph here showing loss of the pronator quadratus um, fat stripe which you can see quite nicely isn't there on the initial um, examination and there's a second follow-up study which shows it's nicely come back again. So it would be quite nice in this case, I think, to have a copy of that article. So the way we do it, it's very simple. When you have the case highlighted, you go to the top menu bar and there is an icon called Plugins. And if you click on that and go down to Database, you will see that you have an option there to either convert a JPEG or a PDF into a DICOM file. And if it's a DICOM file, it can clearly be handled by Osirix. So if we click PDF to DICOM and then look at our desktop, there's our article there. So if I highlight the article and then press open, what Osirix does is it changes that into a DICOM file and adds it into that case as a separate series. So if I open that up now, you can see that I can very clearly see the article. I can zoom it and pan it just as I would an image. And it's very useful uh, when teaching in a case or when uh, a student is looking at the case as a museum case. Now the other thing that you will occasionally want to add into a case is a, just a simple Word document, maybe with some uh, clinical details about the case or a simple differential diagnosis list. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, do that as well. Here is um, a little Word document of notes that I've made just about the pronator quadratus sign probably a little bit less information in this than there is in the uh, radiology article. All I need to do is to save this as a, a PDF document. So there it is, and I'm going to save it onto the desktop. And there it is, it's appeared as a PDF document. So I'm now going to be able, in exactly the same way as I just showed you, to import that document as well into Osirix. So again, I go to Plugins, Database, PDF to DICOM, and there's my PDF of the notes that I made, and I simply press Open, 
and you can see that that has appeared as a separate file and that's again quite useful when you're teaching if you want to have a quick reminder of the differential diagnosis and not lose face in front of your trainees. Now finally I just want to show you um, with some other cases um, just the sort of thing that you can uh, put into each case. Here's a, an example of fibrous dysplasia um, and you can see that we've been able to put in some nice diagrams from books talking about expansile bone lesions and the other thing that you can do if you want to is if you change a PowerPoint presentation into a PDF you can import that so that here we've got um, a nice uh, presentation that is uh, telling us about bone tumours. So it's really I think a very helpful feature to enhance the quality of your teaching collection. So just to recap what I've shown you today is how you can change either uh, journal articles or Word documents or PowerPoints into PDF files and then import those into your OSIRIX database using the plugin tool. And I hope you find this incredibly helpful as I have done. Thank you very much for your attention.